It has been nonstop storming for parts of the Bay Area. As you see this lit up behind us, our map tonight, we're under a microclimate weather alert. Heavy rain, gusty winds still slamming the Bay Area as we head into the week. Taking a live look across the Bay Area right now, this storm is not done with us quite yet. Flood watches continue, and tonight a high wind warning has been extended. And you can see why this video. From San Jose earlier today, hours and hours of those strong wind gusts, they are weaken, weakening trees. And take a look along the coast, Half Moon Bay today. This was near Pillar Point. The strong winds creating ripples across the water. You can see in the background a windsurfer trying not to get blown away. And one of the biggest problems tonight, downed power lines. A lot of people without power. Viewers shared these pictures showing three trees down on, a, uh, on power lines there. Uh, on Blossom Hill Road in San Jose, close to 400,000 people without power across the Bay Area tonight. And take a look at this new video into our newsroom tonight. The wind even tore the roof off this home in San Francisco. This is near Mendoza Avenue and Gateway Court. The homeowner was not home at the time. She says the structural integrity of the home is OK. We have team coverage for you from the city down into the South Bay. Our reporters are standing by. But first, we want to check in with meteorologist Rob Maeda. Rob, everyone wants to know how things are looking for the morning commute. Well, unfortunately, more wind and potentially a few roaming downpours at times. Now, first, let's recap how strong the peak wind gusts were right around the three to four o'clock hour around the Bay Area. And you notice here around the Santa Cruz Mountains, North Bay Mountains, too, up towards the Marin Headlands, uh, we did have wind gusts up to 98 miles per hour up at Mount Amanam at 3.30 in the afternoon, Point Reyes, Mount Diablo, and those Marin Headlands above 80 miles per hour. Now, those are wind gusts, short, intense bursts of wind, not like sustained winds that you would have with the tropical storm or hurricane, but those wind speeds easily enough to bring trees down and cause a tremendous number of power issues around the Bay Area. But here's a little bit of good news. Look at SFO. That is the lowest I've seen since this morning. I was here this morning. We had wind gusts 40 to 50 there to start the day. Those wind speeds are finally starting to come down. Oakland now down to 30 mile per hour gusts. Similar trend around Dublin at 24 miles per hour. And San Jose not reporting a peak wind gust. That's a pleasant change. Wind speeds starting to drop around the Santa Clara Valley. Now you'll notice the map behind me. The high wind warning and wind advisory extended till 8 a.m. Here's why. Forecast updates keeping those stronger wind gusts up over the hills a little bit beyond midnight tonight. Now watch how the purple and red areas start to fade as we head towards 7 a.m. tomorrow. So gradually we'll go from gusty to breezy conditions for your morning commute. Recapping the top rain total, Santa Cruz Mountains, more than five inches of rain today, still more falling at times. You can see it here on the radar view around the Santa Cruz Mountains. So instead of the widespread rain that started today, roaming downpours and still the slight chance of thunderstorms with that strong low pressure to the north that's going to keep things unstable with the flood watches up through 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So plan on a little more wind, not as strong as today, and the potential of localized flooding on those Bay Area creeks and streams in Sonoma County and the chance of more thunderstorms in Monday's forecast. A closer look at that hour by hour coming up in 10 minutes. Rob, thank you. Our team of meteorologists continuing to follow all the weather alerts throughout the night and into the morning. Tune into Today in the Bay starting at 5 a.m. to get the latest on closures and warnings before you head out for the morning commute. All of this wind causing a lot of power problems. A live look now at PG&E's outage map. Just lit up with outages uh, as of 10 o'clock. More than 321,000 customers without power across the Bay Area. You can see the numbers on your screen. 21,000 in San Francisco, more than 73,000 on the peninsula, 83,000 in the North Bay, 35,000 in the East Bay, more than 100,000 people in the South Bay in the dark tonight. Now, crews are working on it into the night, trying to restore power to all of those people. NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen spoke with people in the dark. He continues our coverage from San Francisco. Tom. Uh, good evening, Terry. Yeah, this is actually the best weather we've seen all day. The, just some uh, short gusts right now. The rain has actually even let up. Uh, it has been raining and those strong winds all day here in the city. And you're right, the trees have been falling and there's been power outages since before daybreak. Crews have been really busy and the workload has not let up tonight. This is just one of dozens of trees that toppled in and around San Francisco and on the peninsula. This one in Daly City fell right on a car, and many more fell in roadways, adding to the standing water, potholes, and other obstacles for drivers. A white knuckle driving experience in gale force winds and pounding rainstorms. I was really grab the steering wheel and hold on. 
And as PG&E expected, many of the trees also fell on power lines, causing widespread outages. We've got to, you know about 5,500 in San Francisco. Um, you know, 67,000 on the peninsula. At one point today, nearly 400,000 customers across the Bay Area were without power, and the utility spokesperson says some repairs might not be completed until tomorrow. So we hope to make a lot of progress overnight getting uh, customers restored. But many neighborhoods are blacked out still tonight with people relying on flashlights and batteries to get by. And we have candles as well, just to make sure we're, we're not tripping over anything. So I got old folks too, so it's kind of tough on them. PG&E says the weather and blocked roads are slowing some of the repair efforts, and they're trying to reroute as many customers as possible to restore power sooner. But many people will still have no electricity until Monday morning or afternoon. And at last report, just as we uh, came on the news tonight, uh, there were still 321,000 plus customers here, PG&E customers in the Bay Area without power. PG&E uh, is asking people to report it if they see down power lines. We could get more tonight with these saturated soils and more gusting winds, but they're reminding people, uh, report them, but stay far away from those power lines because they can be deadly. We're live in San Francisco. Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News. All right, Tom, thanks very much. And we got some new video just into the newsroom here. Crews are hard at work trying to clear this tree that fell onto the light rail tracks. This is at 2nd and Santa Clara. No word on when it's going to be cleared. Some stations also experiencing power outages, also contributing to any delays. And a scary scene in the North Bay. This is a, a small grove of three redwood trees falling onto a car on Highway 101 this morning, northbound near the Todd Road on ramp in Santa Rosa. Again, it's 101. It took rescuers about 30 minutes to free the man who was driving that car. We're told he was taken to the hospital with serious injuries, but is expected to be okay. In Vacaville, the rain caused Alamo Creek to rise. Video sent in by viewer Jaden Lacey shows swift currents. And if you look closely, she also tells us the walking path next to the creek. It flooded in the South Bay. Rising waters in the Guadalupe River meant crews had to make not one, but two swift water rescues. That's where our Marianne Favreau is live in Marianne. You were there for some of uh, one of those rescues, at least this afternoon. I was, and you can see here the Guadalupe River is raging right now. And at one point, this river rose so quickly that two different groups of people became stranded. The fire department was called in, and in the end, six adults, three dogs, and nine puppies were rescued. As the force and speed of the Guadalupe River increased, this man says he knew the people camping nearby were in trouble. They're screaming. They're screaming. And unfortunately, like everybody, we, we, we can't really help, like because you know it's, it's the the storm is getting big, the water's getting huge, and you know we get step step inside, the current's really strong. The San Jose Fire Department's Swift Water Rescue Team responded using a boat to rescue three adults, three dogs, and these nine puppies who are just a couple weeks old. This man was one of the people rescued. He says he was camping and found himself quickly surrounded by water near Coleman Avenue. Earlier today, crews responded to a report of a vehicle in the Guadalupe River near Taylor. No one was in the car, but it led to a rescue. During that operation, there was three people stranded um, on an island. They needed to be rescued, so we, we launched our boats, got them, in, got them out of the water, and uh, successfully got them to shore. Down trees also created major problems. This huge redwood came down in front of Willow Glen Elementary School. A few blocks away, another tree slammed onto the roof of a home. Homeowners also sat in the dark as more than 130,000 PG&E customers in the South Bay lost power. David Schmidt took it in stride when his electricity went out around 4 this afternoon. Luckily, we have these little flashlights. And uh, so we've been doing fine. Downtown Willow Glen looked like a dark ghost town tonight. With no power, many businesses were forced to close early. And we've just learned that all of the schools in the Los Gatos Union School District are without power right now. So the district is going to monitor the situation and let students and their families know by 6 a.m. whether or not there will be classes held tomorrow. Reporting live in San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News. Marianne, thank you. And in the North Bay, several schools in Sonoma County will be closed tomorrow. You can see some of them on your screen right there. 
County says these closures are due to flooding down trees and power outages. And here's a few more of those closures. Sonoma County says any schools that are not listed will be open. Eastside Union High School District in San Jose is also closing multiple sites tomorrow due to power outages. We have a full list of all the closures on our website. Go to NBCBayArea.com and click on the breaking news bar at the top of the page. With so much going on, we want to see what it looks like in your neighborhood. We're asking you to tag us in your videos on social. Our handle is at NBC Bay Area or send them to us via email. That's at IC at NBC Bay Area.com.